Before you unload your cattle, back up your trailer so that it's square against the unloading area. Make sure there's not a large drop off from the back of your trailer to the ground so the cattle don't fall out the back. You want them stepping easily out of the trailer, not jumping off a cliff. When you go to unload a trailer, you can do it one of two ways. I like to unlatch the gate from the inside. If my cattle are quiet and calm, to me that's the best way to do it. As you exit the trailer, then that also gives them a, a point of view to, to follow you off that trailer. But you want to be very careful when you open that uh, compartment latch. That gate can spring back and hit you and it creates a safety issue. If there are two of you out there unloading the trailer, then you can go in and unlatch the trailer gate from the outside and have someone catch it on the off side of the trailer and hold it open as a cattle exit. Otherwise, the gate has a tendency to swing back into the trailer and can be a hazard. So either way works. If you're not real confident with the cattle, it's probably best to operate the gate from the outside of the trailer. It's really important to allow cattle to come off a trailer quietly and calmly. One of the first places you'll find cattle getting crippled is coming off a trailer, even more so than loading, and because a lot of times we try to rush them off or force them off a trailer. We need to be very careful about that. If we, the cattle are not afraid to come off that trailer, they'll ease off very quietly and calmly. Once again, reducing the stress on that cattle and that's what we're after. So try to make sure that when you open that gate, they see the, the opening and allow them to find their way off the trailer. 